When you hear people say that we live in the most distracted time in human history, what's your first reaction? A lot of people feel depressed, not me. I almost start drooling with anticipation. Why? Because it's a huge opportunity for people like you and me. People who are not distracted to become the most valuable human beings on the planet. I want you to take a two-step approach. Step number one, identify, own, and eliminate your distractions. Now, the most dangerous distractions are the ones that you don't even know are distracting you. Like the other day, I was on Instagram, not living my dream. I'm living Instagram's dream, right? Then my phone rings and I'm looking at it and I'm being distracted from my own distractions. That's a dangerous place to be, which is exactly why you need to name your distractions so that you can be more aware. My phone, check. TV, check. Deliveries that come to the house, check. Once you identify your distractions, you can take ownership of them. So right now, take a nice deep breath, think about your life, and start writing. I want you to be brutally honest here. Which of your activities are a distraction from actually living? Hours of watching random TV shows? Vacantly scrolling through social media feeds? Eating mindlessly? Drinking? Write it all down. Don't be embarrassed. You're the only one that's gonna see this list. It's important to be completely open with yourself about how you distract yourself from living out your declaration. Now, organize your distractions list. Divide that list into three sections. Distractions you can get rid of tomorrow, distractions you can get rid of in one month, and distractions you can get rid of in one year. Keep that list with you. Make a copy and put it up in your bathroom or on your bedside table or wherever you'll see it every day. Eliminate, eliminate, eliminate. Step two, become so ultra present that distractions just disappear. Now, there will be distractions that you can't get rid of. You'll need a strategy for those. So I want you to think about Tom Brady at the Super Bowl. He walks up to take the snap and the defense is screaming out the plays and they're yelling, trying to distract him. A hundred thousand fans are booing him. Rain is coming down on his face. You know the scene. Do you think Tom Brady is distracted? No way. As one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, he is inclusive of those distractions. He is not pretending that they're not there. He includes those distractions and makes them a part of his game. That is what we call ultra presence or doing a dance with everything around you. Now, by the way, this isn't limited to just great athletes, right? In my book, There's No Plan B for Your A-Game, I talk about Navy SEALs and Green Berets and firefighters who have to use the same exact principles. Now, look back at your distractions list. What are the distractions in your life that you have to include? Bring them along with you, include them as a part of you, learn to dance with those distractions.